streaking the other way. Now it's Greenville with a chance. Carter sucks with a wrister and a score. Goes posting in just over a minute into the game. Greenville, who could not score on Sunday, gets the goal here in the opening 90 seconds. Carter Such makes it one to nothing. Swamp Rat. Yeah, he's their leading scorer and point getter. Comes right down and uh, is able to just snap that one in. One shot, one goal. Not the start Jacksonville is looking for here today. D'Amigo moves in on the forecheck. Modry right out in front. Comes loose for the Icemen. Backhander. Score! Matheson Acapelli ties it at one on the turnover in front. Well, Matheson Acapelli, we see him. He's got a rocket one-timer. He's got an unbelievable snap and wrist shot. This time he goes back into his bag of tricks here and goes to the backhand and finishes it off smoothly there right over the shoulder in that glove of Bednard. What a shot by Matheson Acapelli who swooped in and right between the rings just outside that hash was able to roof it there and the Iceman tie it up. What a response there by Jacksonville. After allowing the goal there on the first shot of the game, they kill off a big power play for Greenville and come right back, get a goal of their own, and this game is evened up. Now he does. Greenville pokes it in. In front it is such. He put it wide. All alone right between the hash marks. Stuff attempt to score. Greenville retakes the lead. It is Carter such again. His second goal of the period, and the Swamp Rabbits are on top again. It's 2-1 to one with 2.25 to go. Swamp Rabbits try to regain the line. They will be onside. It is Kemp. Sharp angle shot. Save made. Rebound score. Three to one Swamp Rabbits. Is it Carter Such again? It is. A hat trick for Carter Such. This time on a rebound and the Icemen trail by a pair. Here's Acapelli in on Bednard. He's a left-handed shot from the left side. Score! A penalty shot goal for Matheson Acapelli. And the Icemen draw within one. It's three to two. Boy, he's just so patient, right? And just, I mean, quickly snap in. I mean, he is an unbelievable shot. We, we rant and we, we rave about it all the time. But a slow approach here. A couple of stick handles. Had it forehand, backhand. Just snaps it so quickly. That quick release of his right just above the blocker of Bednard. And what a spark for Jacksonville. I feel like they've been trying to survive this period, but here they are. It's a one-goal game again, Arley. Do the Icemen have the comeback kids in them once more this week? We'll see. It's a one-goal game. It's a great chance to be in now for Jacksonville. All Greenville right now. Jacksonville desperately needs a clear. It's Perkusic at the blue line for Flynn. Rister in a screen, and they will score. In his pro debut, Jake Flynn gets the goal to make it 4-2. to two. Heavy traffic in front. Absolutely nothing Murdaka could have done. Yeah, you can't blame him on that one. First of all, too much time in the zone. The Iceman did everything but get the puck out of the zone, and it just allowed a good cycle, good passing, good work by Greenville, and Flynn threw it right through a lot of traffic. Murdaka never even had a chance to see it. A lot of traffic there, and uh, not much he could have done about it, but uh, uh, it was a good little drop pass. They swung it. He brought it to the circle. There's about four or five bodies in that track. There's no way he's going to see it. Unfortunately, it ends up in the back of the net. And immediately, Somoza grabbed the puck out of the net and handed it to Flynn, who gets his first pro goal. Iceman right back into the offensive end. Here's Mersch, feeding it for Luke Brown, tries to slide it in front. Score! And the Iceman get it right back! It's 4-3! to three. Well, talk about a response. Iceman is crashing the net, and I think Bednard, he wants to see if there was some interference. I think they're going to take a look at it as the Iceman crashed the net, but they, for the moment, they've responded. I don't know. It's oh, I close. think I want, if there's no interference, I think what he might be arguing is maybe that it was kicked in, but I think Van Wy got a stick on too. it right at the goal line. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're going to replay it or not. If they do, I strongly believe that this would end up in Jacksonville's favor. They are going to replay it, but I feel good about this one right now, Reader. Yeah, I do too. I, I think he got it there on the backhand. I, I think he got it with the stick, so uh, we'll see. Freeman tries to get to the forehand. Saved by Murdaka. Rebound. And they're going to call it a goal. They're calling it a goal. Everly will get the goal. Logan Cockrell. Cockrell at the top of the circle. Five seconds left on the power play. Fortunato moves towards the middle. Feeds it to the right for Cockrell. Teams are at full strength. Seam pass. Forehand. Shot. Saved. Rebound is loose. Score! And the Icemen draw within one. Is that Matheson Acapelli with a hat trick? It is!
his second Hattie of the season, and the Icemen draw within one again. Mathis and Acapelli, another hat trick here. Going to the net on the rebound. He's able to put that one home, and the hats come flying down. Boy, boy, when he gets going, Arlie, he is uh, just gets red hot. And the Icemen get an early goal. It's exactly what they needed, Arlie. It's not a power play marker, but they get it after the penalty had expired, and they get it over to their guy that's been red hot today. He fanned on the first attempt. It came back to the right side, Van Y, but then near side, past the outstretch netminder, Bednard, he's able to put it in on the second effort. Yeah, that first replay showed it perfectly as they're gonna have a little bit of a delay to pick up the hats from the hat trick. Matheson Acapelli's second hat trick of the season.